Hey guys, so today I want to share another tutorial for a really nice keyword research tool which is answerthepublic.com and answerthepublic.com is one of my favorite tool and actually been one of my favorite tools for a while. It used to be totally free but now it is purchased by Neil Patel and he is the owner of uh, I don't remember some crazy egg or something like that on his website and he's very knowledgeable in the field of SEO and uh, very reputed too and I have read his blog it's really really well researched and very detailed so let's start with our little tool review and this particular tool is actually fairly simple and very easy to use very very effective so all you need to do is just put whatever you want to search here then whatever your location let's say I want to go with United States right so I'm going to put here cars United States and I'm going to press search it also has now Bing search and YouTube it only used to have Google but now it is definitely developing and what's going on here it's asking for registration why why is it asking for registration all right no problem let's just register All right, so I basically logged into the, my account and now as you can see, it is giving me all this information regarding the keyword cars, all right? So now it is about this wheel thing. As you can see, there are so many questions and stuff and this is what Answer the Public used to do for free. And now it is also giving us all the information for how many keywords got high searches, how many keywords got average and limited. It is designed by color so the darker the color the higher the search is now it is also giving us search volume and cost per click it is from uber suggest all this this data search volume and cost per click data is from uber suggest as you can see it is providing so much information and it's all for free and you can do a lot of things with just couple of searches and once you are done with it you don't need to buy this as a pro version if you are really serious about your blogging then that's a different thing but if you just want to start a blog or you're just starting out and don't want to spend money you don't have to and you can still make pretty good amount of money with it so to export all the keyword as you can see it's asking for upgrade but you can export up to 30 keywords which is more than sufficient to write a lot of blogs now here's something here's a trick that i use 
I don't just put just one keyword here. Once I know that, all right, I'm going for this particular niche. Now I will go for maybe types. Let's say if I have a car blog, I will go with types of cars, newly launched cars, whatever it is. I will just search on Google and then put it here. All right. So I will show you a more detailed way to do keyword research once I will start my niche blog series where I will show you how to start a niche blog from start to finish actually and how to monetize it, how to get traffic, everything from A to Z. Alright, so that's all there is to it actually. It's not very complicated and uh, it used to be totally free which I feel bad now it's not totally free but it's alright. You can do a whole lot with amount of stuff it is already giving us. So that's all there is to it actually. This is not, this is not very complicated and uh, you can just go with wheel format, list format, there's a list format also is loading the list format and uh, yeah you can actually explore it yourself it's not very complicated just search here and uh, just keep in mind that uh, whatever it, it is there is only three searches available for for a day so it's just you have to keep that in mind as you can see here it is look at this it's giving us the cpc and the search volume that's really good it is giving us the modifiers also phrases and modifiers Right, so it is giving us the phrases, the questions, the prepositions. All right, so there are so many information. There is so much information here. There are so many tools that you can use to get really nice keywords. And as you can see, after a while, it's going to give us some blurry results because it is asking for a pro version for upgrade, which I understand. At the end of the day, this data will help you to make money. It's always good to use a paid version if you are really serious and if you want to make even more money than your competition because let me be very upfront with you it's a lot of competition blogging so that's all there is to it i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys thank you